finally another new video from me here. Yeah, sorry about the long break. There were a lot of things going on. Anyways, even though I took quite a long break here on YouTube, it's not been nearly as long as it took Express.js, the most important and popular Node.js library we have out there, to release a new major version. I mean, honestly, version 4.0 was released 11 years ago. That's a long time. I mean, we have other popular frameworks and libraries which seemingly release new versions every month. 11 years in the JavaScript world, that's an eternity. But now, finally, after 11 years, it's there. Express.js version 4. Five. Though, if you run npm install express, at least right now, you will still get version 4 in your projects. Because version 5 has been released under the next tag. So it's npm install express at next to get version 5. Now, there is an official version 5 release blog post with more details. You find it below the video. But what's really funny is that this post was actually released yesterday. I'm recording this on October the 16th and it was released on October the 15th. And I didn't even know about this post until I started recording because version 5 itself has already been released a month ago in September. I saw it back then, but I was traveling and got sick in between. So that's why I'm recording this video now. But it took the Express team over a month after the release of version 5 to also release this blog post. But I think it kind of fits the, the general theme of Express and Express 5. It all just takes a bit longer, which is fine. It is a super stable and popular library after all. And it's probably still the library you should definitely learn, for example, with my Node Express course, link below the video if you want to, if you want to work with Node on the backend. There are great alternatives, but Express.js gets downloaded a lot. Like, really a lot. It's super important. And by the way, version 4 will stay important for a long time to come. And I can also already spoiler that there aren't too many big differences between version 4 and 5. But since it took so long for this new version to be released, Basically, all projects out there are using version 4 or older, and they will not all suddenly rush to migrate to 5. That's my prediction. So, if you want to learn Node Express, you should still learn version 4. But again, the differences actually aren't that big. As they also describe in this blog post, it is a boring release. They say it here. It's a boring new version in the end. But it does change at least one really useful, important thing that's been annoying about Express for, for ages, forever, I almost want to say. Now, they also mention here in the blog post that eventually, as soon as possible, they will share more details about the long-term stability plans for Express and also they will let us know when the Express version for the latest tag will switch to version 5, so that you get version 5 by default if you run npm install express. They want to share more details about that soon. For the moment, it's npm install express at next if you want to get version 5. And they also, of course, in that blog post, list which big changes are introduced by version 5. For example, you now must use node version 18 or higher. They also say that here in this GitHub release, in the release notes there. So you must use version 18, node version 18 or higher to use uh, Express 5. Now, besides that, we got some uh, routing path matching changes, really niche changes, which probably won't affect your application, but you learn about all the details here also in the release notes. But the big thing, the, the most important thing about this release really is this promise support part here, because that has been annoying about Express. Because in Express, Express 4, you could use promises, you could have middleware or route functions, which is just a middleware function in the end, 
uh, which was async, for example. You could use promises there, but if those promises threw an error, if something went wrong, any kind of error, if the promise got rejected, then when using Express version 4, you had to manually catch this error and use the next function, which is available in every middleware function as the third argument passed in by Express automatically. You had to use that to forward this error to your default error handling middleware. Express.js has this feature called an error handling middleware, which is one central place you can set up to handle all the errors that might occur anywhere in your application. But if they did occur in a promise, you had to manually catch and forward them. And that was a lot of boilerplate code. It was also easy to overlook, which then could cause errors to silently be ignored or introduce all kinds of nasty bugs. Now, with version 5, finally, Express does that for you. You no longer need to catch and handle those errors manually. Instead, if you have a middleware function in a route or anywhere else, and it uses a promise and the promise gets rejected, an error is thrown, if that happens, then automatically your global error handling middleware if you did register it, will be triggered and you can have your error handling code in there in one central place. And that's really, really huge and helpful. So that's amazing. Now, another interesting change is that the, the body parser changed. So the, 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 the thing that extracts data from incoming request bodies. And there specifically, if you used the URL encoded body parser to parse uh, submitted form data, uh, now by default, the extended configuration is set to false, which means you now no longer have to add any configuration when setting up that body parser. With version 4, you manually had to set extended to false or true, because if you did not set anything, you got a warning or an error that you need to set this. Now the default is false, which is a sensible default, and you don't need to set it anymore. So a nice convenience uh, change, you could say. Also important is that there are some methods which were deprecated before, which now got removed. So they're no longer available in Express version 5. And if you take a look at this list, you might see some methods in there which look rather important, like the send method, which you probably use in your applications to send back responses to the client, or the JSON method to send back JSON responses. And the thing is, these methods are still available and still work. You can and should still use them. What's been removed is specific versions of these methods. For example, here, send with both the status and the data for the response being passed to that send method. So send with two arguments, as you see here, that has been removed. Instead, you should call rest.status.send, for example, as you probably already did it in the past. You can't use this method that combines both into one method call anymore. And the same for JSON. You can still and you should still use response.status, set some status, dot JSON, or just response.json, but you can't use the JSON method which accepts both the data and the status code. It's really just these combinations that have been removed. And some other methods and properties which chances are high weren't really used in your application anyways. Now, there is an official migration guide, which I also link below the video. You can go through it to learn more about Express 5 and how to migrate, but it really is straightforward. There aren't too many big changes, which is a good thing because it really is the library that powers Node.js backends and it's getting used by so many projects. If it would now change everything, chances would probably be high that the new version wouldn't be used that much. But it really just is a boring new version, therefore, which does introduce some meaningful quality of life improvements. And that really is a good thing. And I guess a nice variation compared to some other JavaScript frameworks or libraries where we have huge changes every couple of months. It's nice to have an upgrade which is not hard to perform.